hello and welcome to id objects configuration so let's look at the objects that will be creating part of our id configuration so at the source site we have shop floor and the target we have user email inbox wherein the file will be converted into an email and email is sent over to user email on the configuration scenario we will use f2m notation similar notation we have used for esr and email notification as the name of the business scenario then at the source side we have shop floor system channel the cc file channel and at the target side we have cc email techie press receiver okay then we have party and business system representing shop floor and party and business system representing the techie press then we have created two service interface out and in representing the outbound and inbound messages then we have an operation mapping to do one to one mapping just to make sure we have the messages coming up from the source and we are mapping it to an email id this is the high level configuration that we'll be doing from id point of view so let's go ahead and do it in the system now okay so here are the objects that we need to create now let's create the folder first so techie press is our folder main parent folder okay so let's create the configuration scenario add to our folder okay so let's go ahead and assign this business system we don't have a party here right i just deleted that because we don't have a party in the previous scenario so we are not going to use that let me assign this to my configuration scenario okay this is my email notification assign we don't have a party for techie press and the business system let's go ahead and create that we switch back to our configuration scenario view open this up right so you have shop floor let's go ahead and create techie press add to a folder then we we'll create business system okay so for this we will add our interfaces to it okay so target side we have this so we'll assign that target side right and save this okay and to the shop floor system we will assign the source okay so this one we have created in the sld that's why it's able to pull out all the service interface which is created in the techie press so no need to assign it manually okay so we have created business system okay so let's create the channel now then we'll do the configuration first we'll create shop floor sender file assign it to the folder let's create this okay select type file type sender ftp we'll say pull dot xml files and we are we know our notation right so we'll be using folder name slash channel name okay so we'll go ahead and create this folders let's go ahead and create the folders okay so the folder has been created i'll enter the ip address from the file to file scenario
okay and make sure it is deleted go to processing processing mode is deleted so the file will be deleted okay let's save this so our sender is done let's do the receiver close this will create for this business system search for mail right you can find it it here okay is a receiver type SMTP select XI payload okay and then the URL will be the URL of your SMTP mail so I have my personal mail set up so I'll connect to that and then I'll trigger the message say use mail package so basically we are using we are saying that the mail information is already available in the data okay so use that so I'm going to attach the user credential and password here and then I'll save this let me save this okay so when I run this interface I will add the user authentication here and I'll run it okay so let's complete our configuration so we have created configuration scenario folders business system we attached to it we have created this business system and party created two channels so it's time to create our integrated configuration now so right click on integrated configuration and say new so we don't have a party for shop floor let's select shop floor here and for our ESR our interface name is this let's add that and search for it okay add to folders create okay let's select our channel the channel is file channel shop floor file receiver is PYTP global and the business system BS right go to receiver interface operation mapping should pop up now by itself go to outbound processing select your receiver channel that's the email channel okay let's save this so all done we created a party and a business system we we attach the business system that was previously used we created two channels sender and receiver sender of type file where we will pick the file email file and receiver we have the email receiver all right and then we created the configuration to pick the file and send the receiver the only thing that i haven't done is the user authentication which i will do it when i run the interface okay so what I'll do in the testing section, we will be putting a file here. I'll show you how to extract that file. I'll extract that file and I'll put it here and we will go back and check the email. Okay. So let's go ahead and activate this. Okay. So activation is done. Okay. So let's test this interface. 